there. Let's go around this corner right here. And let's see what goes on over here. Hi. Hello. Good evening, everybody. My name is Alan, and I'm the CEO of uh, Yano, and that's a company that makes robots. So uh, here you see uh, our uh, robot bartender that is uh, very unique in the world. And uh, we are going to show you now how it works. Uh, the robot was uh, uh, an idea of mine since I have been running uh, like 15 years uh, nightclubs, bars, restaurants and uh, there was also always a uh, staff problem so uh, I, I tried to solve it and the result is here. It's uh, fully automatic, uh, completely autonomous, uh, communicative, fast robot bartender that also can talk to you. So uh, let me order a drink from here. As you can see, there are different drinks here that you can select. Uh, let's go for sparkling water for, for fun. And uh, the payment goes very easy. You just uh, select uh, your card, either a real card or with a mobile phone. You present it here and the machine uh, is going to fix you a drink. Here you go. Up here in the machine, there's a uh, thousand drinks and uh, 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 glasses and the machine delivers a glass then it goes to get some ice there's a nice machine inside and then uh, sparkling water and it's gonna deliver it uh, up here in the dock and all this took I think maybe 30 seconds not more all together with ordering and everything here you go. Cheers. So yes, uh, we have uh, very different clients as it can go to nearly any venue. Uh, there's airports, there's, uh, there's uh, of course bars, uh, restaurants, nightclubs, uh, there's event marketing places, there's sports arenas especially where you have a short span of servicing and um, uh, here in Dubai we have even uh, talks with the government uh, and uh, some hotels. We are setting up right now uh, the first uh, uh, two machines this year with a big cinema chain in Estonia, uh, the biggest in Baltics actually. And uh, we are right now looking for new partners uh, to uh, uh, start the pilots with. Uh, the, the argument is that uh, this pays for itself when you save the salaries of the bartenders. Yes. Uh, over how many months do you need to pay for this? Uh, it depends on the venue, of course, but uh, if you sell 100 drinks a day, that means quite a small bar in the corner. Uh, the machine pays itself back in uh, one year, 11 months actually. And uh, for regular bar, uh, the time span is usually two, three, maybe even four years, depending on how much you invest in it. The machine uh, is quite expensive, 150,000. But actually, if you calculate uh, that you don't have to build a bar, that you don't have to uh, pay salaries to many people, then uh, the uh, return of investment is, is very fast. And we also offer a concession model. That means we bring in the machine for free and uh, the machine pays for itself. So uh, you don't take any risk, actually. You don't have to make uh, big down payments or investments. And uh, we share the revenue. So that's the way how, uh, how to do it. How many different drinks does it host up there? Uh, in this machine you can have 45 different bottles up here and uh, you as an owner decide what you put here. This machine is uh, non-alcoholic because we're in Dubai but uh, you can choose whatever you put in there. Is it 45 bottles of different gin? Is it uh, some different liquors? Uh, also there's a soft, machine, uh, soft drink machine inside. So uh, here we have uh, tonic, uh, Pepsi, uh, juice and uh, sparkling water but you can choose whatever you want to have there yes uh, so the argument is that this could sell uh, resolve the congestion in the bar where there's so many people waiting for their drinks mm -hmm. you could have the app and order your drink and go pick it up just when the robot is ready to give it to you absolutely there's uh, two uh, kinds of apps one is here and the other one uh, is in my phone that also allows you to uh, order a drink. Uh, the machine has it in queue, so you walk to the machine, 
and here is uh, the special code that uh, the machine gives you. So you enter your code and the machine knows that you are here and it, ma it makes you a drink. So if there's a queue, then uh, it's handled in a very elegant way. It could um, even recognize by Bluetooth or something? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and then there's no more waiting in the bar for guys yes. to plus, get their drinks. Plus there is three different uh, kind of stations uh, where you can order so that it can service three people at a time. And uh, you might think that uh, uh, in a bar the process is faster, but actually it's not. I have been measuring uh, during those years I worked in the bar. Uh, many times uh, the order process is uh, the fastest you can get is two or three minutes because you know people decide, they talk, they uh, look for their uh, uh, card or, or cash, and they then the bots and the does its job and so on. So the process is usually two to uh, ten minutes. Here you just pay, and the machine makes you drink 30, 60 seconds. So in a minute you have a drink, and it goes to the next one. So it can make hundred drinks an hour, and um, if you have one ingredient drink like we just had, then even faster and even more. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, how, how many do you have deployed so right now? Uh, this one is second. It's still a prototype. Uh, and we are building now third and fourth. And next year, we are planning to go to the uh, mass production. Uh, we have a um, uh, partner factory also in Estonia that has been producing for Ericsson and Nogia for years. So we are um, producing with them 100 machines a year. 2022 uh, already. Where would the countries be for the customers? Uh, sorry? Where, where do you um, hope to be selling? In which countries? Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the main playgrounds for us is uh, Europe, as we are also uh, in European Union, uh, in Estonia. That makes the, doing the business there very easy. And the uh, second uh, market is here in the Gulf region, because there has been a lot of interest uh, from here. I don't know why, uh, it seems that Emirates is very tech savvy, also from Saudi and Oman. Uh, so that's why we are here also, to, uh, to approach the local market and, and uh, find the interest here. And of course America, but uh, it takes a bit of time to get there because of the licensing and, and the, the regulations. Uh, but those are our main uh, uh, What can markets. you do to get around the regulations? Because uh, it's well, good to get to the American market, no? Absolutely. It's our, uh, one of the big goals. but. Uh, uh, we have a very good team of lawyers who are making sure that we uh, comply with everything. For instance, uh, uh, we need to build a system, uh, or we are building a system that um, uh, uh, restricts the mind to get alcohol. So that means uh, we are uh, having a three-layer system for that. Uh, the card payment uh, kind of checks the person's age uh, in connection with the bank. And also we have the identification uh, uh, app that scans uh, uh, your um, ID card and uh, identifies how old the, old the person is. What's your idea for the design? What's, what does it look like? Yes, uh, that's a good question. Uh, the uh, designers that uh, have uh, done the machine, they are big science fiction fans. So uh, when we started doing this, uh, it, it, we went crazy right away. So it, it is kind of a... a um, uh, digital bartender. You see, there are eyes in the in the sides, those uh, shiny ones, and uh, it it kind of is as a an entity. It's it's as as a living thing, but uh, in a digital way. So that's that's why the uh, shape and also the round shape uh, allows more people to gather around it, and it uh, makes it much more compact. So our machine is uh, the only one uh, that is uh, mobile, so we can move it around, it has small wheels, and you can pack it in four hours and take it to another place. So uh, that's something that, uh, that is unique. You can't usually pack a bar, or of course, if, it ha if you have it on wheels, then yes, but, uh, but not automatically. So it's just like two Teslas, right? Yes, exactly. It's not that expensive. <laughs> Uh, when yeah, you think about it, say, or, like uh, a, a bar, uh, bars, especially with this period with Corona, yes. there's, um, I, I don't like to use the word because YouTube tags it, but uh, there is some kind of, uh, what do you call it, people are a bit afraid of uh, mm -hmm. going around uh, talking with the bartender. Uh, they need a robot. Yes, and yes and no. Actually, it's kind of a cliche that everybody talks to a bartender. My experience over these 15 years is that nobody in the rush hours talks about it. They yell at the bartenders, where is my drink? God damn it. 
and uh, they want to um, rather get their drinks fast and go and enjoy their other, you know, dance or, or uh, hit on somebody. So uh, we are never, or, or not right now, going to the bars where you have those bartenders that talk to you and take time and make some crafty cocktails. So this is something where that is not our playground today. Uh, where we are aim at is, is the places where you have a lot of people, a lot of turnover, you have a lot of customers, you need to move fast, you need to uh, have the constant quality of drinks. So that's, that's where we go. Can we see one more drink? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Like let's coke. see. Okay, let's do a uh, rum cola that has uh, more movements. Okay, you order here, then you need to pay with your card. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. So it's actually set up with a real payment terminal and everything? Yes, absolutely. That's uh, in uh, your mobile app, of course, the payments go in the background because you have scanned your uh, card there already. whiskey here are quite funny because they have uh, both been produced in UK but they are without alcohol so sometimes the UK people come here and are very surprised that the UK produces whiskey without alcohol but that's the regulation and uh, how can um, how can people customize their drinks maybe people have like they want a little bit more of this a little bit of this of that uh, and that's totally possible uh, that's all possible but the the experience says that when people start mixing drinks then the drinks are not so good anymore so uh, we uh, advise uh, the owner that has a special back end app to go and uh, uh, kind of prepare the drinks and, and the recipes uh, themselves because yeah. uh, the professionals would be uh, suggesting what to mix right exactly yes but uh, that, that's an idea to make a kind of a uh, option for the customers to to select some components for instance if you want the double uh, uh, double rum cola or double whiskey or something then uh, you should have two shots definitely yeah. mm -hmm.